What is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Jessica. I talk about frugal living, fitness motivation, and minimalism. In this video, I'm going to be talking about goal setting. Setting goals gives you a long-term vision with short-term motivation. So you can do this in many ways. With the baby steps, that kind of gives you goals for getting debt-free, financial freedom, and living and giving like no one else. So for fitness, what I usually do is I, I need visual motivation to keep me going. So one of the things I do is I have one of these, it, and it doesn't have to be this, I just Googled this, something like this, but um, it's a 30 day uh, tracker, goal tracker, but you can have something on your calendar, by your fridge, in your bathroom, somewhere where you can see it every day your goal setting you need to think bigger picture like what do you want and then break it down reverse engineer it and figure out how you need to get to your goals like what do you need to do step by step to get to whatever it is you want to achieve so a lot of people use the smart method so they make their goals specific measurable attainable relevant and time bound this will help you achieve your goal it's kind of um, it could be challenging to get all those things on paper in the beginning, but really locking yourself into what you think you should be able to achieve in a certain amount of time will really push you to get there. So for example, if I wanted to run at least a mile every day for the next 30 days, I'll use something like this and I'll put it on my fridge and it'll be, my goal is to and I'll put on here, I don't know if you can see this, I'll put on here, my goal is to run at least one mile every day. And one time I did this and I, I got even more specific and I was like, except for, except for Tuesdays. So I didn't do anything on Tuesdays. And so it's specific, it's measurable, I, I know I can do physically a, a mile every day. Um, it's attainable and it's time bound and I can measure it. So it's one mile. Another way I track goals that you see me use these a lot. I love these fill in color it in trackers because I can see progress happening and it keeps me motivated to keep going with whatever financial goal I have to. So here's a few tips when you're setting your goals. It's to write them down. So writing, writing your goals down kind of crystallizes it and puts it into the world like you've, you've removed it from your brain and you've put it into the world. This is your goal. Another tip is to prioritize your goals. So if you have a lot of goals, just it can feel over, overwhelming. So just write them down and put them in priority. When you put them in priority, it helps you direct your attention to what you need to focus on at that time. Now you can do, you know, more than one goal at a time, but if you're starting to feel overwhelmed, just focus, that helps you focus on one thing at a time. So if you met a fitness goal, think about how you can reward yourself that isn't damaging to your body. Like don't go get junk food, stop it. So you can reward yourself with things like a massage, if you're able to get one of those right now because of COVID, buy yourself that shirt or that massage or that video game or whatever the case may be, but try not to focus on food as a reward for meeting fitness goals. When you're setting your goals, it's important to set realistic goals because if you set your goals too, too large and too broad, then you're not giving yourself time to appreciate all those obstacles and challenges along the way. And then you may not even meet this huge goal that you set for yourself that's out of bounds. Um, you can try and break it down level by level. When you're setting your goals, you should dream big, think outside the box, think long term, you know, as big as you want to go. But just consider breaking it down if it's so large and it's gonna take several years to get there, think about how you can break it down so you don't get discouraged along the way because you really do need to appreciate all the challenges that are gonna come with 
those huge long-term dream big kind of goals. My goal for the next 30 days is to run at least a mile. I have a treadmill, so it's to run at least a mile on my treadmill every day for the next 30 days. And I'm going to keep track of it on this page so it keeps me visually motivated. And I'll keep y'all informed of my progress along the way. So that's all I have for you guys today. I'll see you next time. Bye.